Hey guys, welcome to the Simplify Your Life podcast. It's Coach Simona and I'm glad you decided to tune in. What's up guys? In today's podcast episode, I'm going to give you four tips on how to overcome fear of success and focus on creating a life you absolutely love. Now, let's jump right into it. We often hear the term fear of failure. It's all about being afraid of not getting where you want to go, not achieving your goals or not fulfilling your purpose. We also often hear that to become successful, you need to fail many times before. While that is true, it's not necessarily helping us overcome fear of success. Before we jump into my four tips, let's get something straight. Where does fear of success come from? And why do we have it in the first place? Imagine you have always considered yourself poor, sad, lonely, or unsuccessful. You have struggled with low self-esteem in the past, and you know that being satisfied and fulfilled seems like a bit of a stretch. You've probably struggled with money issues or emotional neglect as a child. You're not sure what happiness, peace, and harmony really look like. One day, you find yourself doing something that can potentially change your life. You have the power to change other people's lives in the process. You're slowly but surely growing. Your business is doing so well that you start sabotaging yourself. That's when fear of success comes into the picture. It's that little annoying voice on the back of your head that says, Who do you think you are to be successful? Being successful will change you and you will become a sellout. I can't deal with the amount of responsibility success will bring into my life. It gives me anxiety. That brings me to my first tip. Find out why you are afraid of success. Realizing where your fear of success is coming from is the first step to overcoming it. Grab a pen and a piece of paper and set aside 5 to 10 minutes to answer the questions that I'm about to ask you. Question number one. What does success mean to me? What would make me a successful person? Be as specific as possible. For example, owning your own house, having $1 million in the bank, being on TV, etc. Be honest with yourself. And once you're done, come back for the next question. 2. Who is my example for a successful person? What do I like about them? What do I dislike about them? The things you describe as dislikes will help you get a better understanding of the negative traits that you are associating success with. 3. Why am I afraid of success? What will I lose if I become successful? Again, don't filter yourself. Write down whatever comes up. Now that you have a better understanding of your own fear of success, let's get to tip number 2. Make a plan. This is probably my favorite part and I'm going to tell you why. Making a plan about what you want your life to look like will not only help you put today's fears and struggles in perspective, but it will also give you clarity about the next steps that you need to take. First, go back to your initial answer to the question, what will make me a successful person? Let's take $1 million in the bank, for example. What would it take for you to make that much money in a year? What products or services do you need to sell? How many would each of them cost? What sales funnels should you use? What is your target audience? Etc. You see what I'm doing here? I'm going backwards. Imagining you have already achieved your goal of becoming successful makes it possible for your brain to look for solutions to the current problems you have in your business. By going backwards, you will get to the first little step that you need to take today. For example, make 10 phone calls to potential clients or Drafting a sales page for that program of yours that you've been afraid to promote. Now, let's get to tip number three. Feel the fear, but do it anyway. If I had to master one life skill to perfection, I would say this one would be it. Why is taking action while being afraid so powerful? And how can you do it so that you don't overwhelm yourself? When you're experiencing something new, when you're expanding and growing, or about to become successful, your mind is experiencing difficulties processing all of this new information. 
let's not forget that its only job is to keep you safe and alive. So instead of being mad at yourself for sabotaging yourself, you can do something much more productive. Acknowledge that you are afraid and take immediate action. One of the best techniques to do that is the 5 second rule by Mel Robbins. Whenever you feel inner resistance to do something, count down from 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and do it. Here's what you will notice when you make a habit of it. At some point you will feel less and less resistance. You will become accustomed to taking big risks and in no time you will find out that success is not scary at all. In fact, it's the story your mind likes to tell itself that scares you the most. Another trick I like to use is to tell myself the following sentence. I will worry about that when it happens. It works absolute wonders. For example, I will worry about being successful when I become successful. That's it. Instead of letting your monkey mind dictate the way you operate, tell it how you want it to think. Surprisingly, it will actually listen. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you liked it, please like it. And subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on my weekly podcast episodes. I love you guys and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.